Linebacker Reuben Foster just released by the San Francisco 49ers after an arrest on domestic violence charges has quickly found a new team, the Washington Redskins. As Jim Axelrod reports tonight, some are asking why. When the San Francisco 49ers parted ways with linebacker Reuben Foster after his domestic violence arrest, the team was clear. They are zero tolerance. Yeah, like Coach Kyle Shanahan. It's, it's not a hard deal. I mean, if someone, someone hits a female or a significant other, that's not a person who's going to be on our team. Okay, I can barely hear you. So your ex-boyfriend did what? <laughs> Took my phone and broke it and slapped me in my face. Saturday night wasn't the first time Foster's girlfriend had reported him. She had called police in February, but later recanted. In charge of battery and domestic violence. This recent arrest means Foster cannot play or practice until his case is adjudicated. The Redskins said about the allegations, if true, you can be sure they are nothing our organization would ever condone. Jay Gruden is the head coach. Uh, he made a mistake or two, or you know, um, and, and at the end of the day, we decided to take the chance and, and uh, deal with it. It cannot be that the only consequence is that he's let go by one team and immediately picked up by another team. But Georgetown law professor Deborah Epstein, a former advisor to the Players Union on domestic violence, is asking why sign Foster at all. The message that is being sent to players in high school, players in college, players in the professional leagues, is that if you have real potential as an athlete, you can engage in violence against women without serious consequences to your career. Foster was arrested in Tampa, where the Niners were to play the next day. Now, Tampa police say neither the Redskins nor the NFL called for details about the case before Foster was signed. Might have been a good idea, but we will see how the investigation plays out, Jim. Thank you.